Hey, I'm Richie Beretta, and welcome to UJAM's walkthrough of their newest virtual drummer, Brute. Brute is a virtual drum plugin that is inspired by a genre that's super near and dear to my heart. 90s punk, alternative, all things edgy from that era, and they jam-packed all that vibe into their new plugin. So let's take a look. We're done with the intro now. Just like you have choices of drum kit to use, there's also choices of a mix bus that you can use. Think of it as choosing different mix engineers for different drum mixes. So uh, on the right side of the plugin, we have some choices here. We have gentle, slam, bite, crush, bounce, and wide. Now, what each of these do is they manipulate not just the processing on the mix bus, but they also manipulate processing on the singular drum mics. So think of it as different mix personalities. Before I start manipulating any parameters, let's listen to each one uh, with this uh, prime loop that I have here. So we're gonna start with a gentle and then I'll scroll through each one and then I'll talk about uh, each one. Okay, so I'm sure you heard the difference in each one. So let me tell you a little bit about uh, the presets. Gentle is sort of the radio friendly, happy face EQ. Your highs are very airy. Your lows are thick and smooth. Very friendly sounding drums, right? Now, the slam is sort of a uh, little bit of the opposite of that. It's almost as if uh, let's say uh, the engineer that you hired discovered compression for the first time and they just slather it over everything. But that's also a vibe and it sounds really cool. Bite is inspired by like that no effects, very fast, very gritty highs, something that's going to cut through those uh, thick, fast, articulating guitars. Crush actually has nothing to do with compression it has to do with distortion and saturation. And in the Crush preset, you can hear that the sustain is excited. And that's because of the distortion and the saturation that we're using in this mix bus preset. Bounce, that is a very special uh, preset to me because uh, I had a hand in creating it. Uh, so in my studio, I have a couple of drum buses that I like to use to emphasize that low end, that thickness, um, that even in a rock record, I still feel needs to be there. It's something that you would typically find more in pop or more in hip hop, but uh, that low end thump, that low end, that especially in the kick drum, it sort of emulates my feeling of being in a venue, seeing you know a band I really love and just being you know kicked in the face by the drummer. <laughs> Hopefully. 
hopefully not literally uh, because I didn't get too close to the stage, but that feeling that you get, that excitement, especially when the drummer hits the kick drum, that's what's really ar articulated uh, here. And why it is also derived from some processing that we did here. I have a, one of my drum buses is an old mixer, which just emphasizes width like you could not believe. And that was something that uh, we captured and then sort of baked into the, into the plugin. So those are the different flavors of mixed presets. Now let's talk about the amount. The amount is not a wet and dry fader. Please do not get it twisted. This is a really complex macro knob that um, adjusts 12 buses <laughs> of processing. So the more you increase it, the more this macro knob tweaks things under the hood in order to get the sound not just excited, but also maintain the integrity of the drums. So let's go to let's go to the bounce. I'm going to use uh, this 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 loop again, and I'm going to increase it and then decrease it so we can hear what it does. So what we heard, we heard the kick drum because the, 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 this particular preset uh, has to do with the low end of the kit. So we heard that kick drum get fatter, but we also heard the snare drum not grow linearly with the kick. This is the beauty of the macro control. It, does, it, it, it keeps in mind the, the vibe of that particular preset as, as you increase it. Not only are you enforcing the vibe of that particular preset, the drums don't fall apart with the processing. Usually sometimes when you over-process, you lose sight of the big picture, especially when you're working with drums. You may want to get a kick drum fatter, but then the kick drum will just eat up the rest of the kit. Not so in this particular example. This is also really great. Again, uh, when I was saying, and, and when I was discussing the output option where you can individually output things or and, and remove from the master, you could crank this up and then print your stereo mix with this extreme processing, but then do your mix and sneak in the extreme processing for parallel. And you don't have to worry about turning any knobs out here. Uh, as much as I love analog and, and messing with stuff, I also like to get what's in my head out of my head as fast as possible. And again, that's the whole beauty of Brute and, and along with all the other uh, virtual instruments that UJAM makes. You just get something that you want just like that. So that takes care of our mix preset section. So let's talk about the last section here, the master section. Reverb is a type of reverb, uh, some of its convolution, uh, some of its synthetic, uh, and each mix preset has its own reverb. So if you pick Slam, that has a certain flavor of reverb. And if you pick Crush, that has its own reverb. However, just like we can mix and match individual drums in the kit selection, we can mix and match reverb. So if I like the reverb from Gentle, but I want to use the Crush preset, I can scroll and just pick a different reverb that suits my taste. I just want to say that there is a reverb here called Richie's Rage. That's based on a little something that I created. And no, it's not the rage that I go into when I eat a bowl of overcooked pasta. I don't know. I don't know. The guys over there said, said call it Richie's Rage, I guess, because it, it's, it, it, it rolls off the tongue. Okay? It's all good. This is my favorite one anyway. Use it. And uh, you know, yeah, you'll win a Grammy. You won't win any Grammys, but you, you may win a Grammy. I, I don't know. If you win a Grammy, just thank me up there. You know, maybe send me, send me, send me a... A PlayStation 5. Okay, uh, moving on to legit my favorite parameter of Brute is grit. And this is something, oh man, this is just so cool. So what the grit knob does is it employs a separate set of microphones. So when we were recording the drums, we used two sets of direct mics. We used ones that were close right on the drum, which is, you know, straightforward way of recording drums and ones that were further away. So you got more of a proximity effect. Now, when you move it over here, you're, you're just using the 
further away microphones, which gives you this like raucous, very, very live sounding uh, drum kit. And over here, it's a tighter, it's a tighter, more direct sound. So let's, uh, you know what, let's go back to wide. Actually, we'll, we'll use gentle. We'll go back to the prime loop and we'll start all the way from the left and we'll move it to the right and uh, we'll see what this does. So we go from direct to more of a, a kit that has more of a proximity effect. But the amazing thing about this, the amazing thing about this is that the impulse of the kit, that transient, is not hindered. Even if you're using something that has the mics that were placed more at a distance away from the drums. It, it just gives it a different vibe. Personally, I do like the more ambient uh, sounding drum kit. It just reminds me of being in a, in a studio tracking drums and it's fun to like, you know, be in the live room with the drummer. And when I record drums, uh, I do like to implement a bunch of different room mics in order to give the listener that perception too, because it's such a wonderful experience. However, it causes a little bit of a, a, a challenge because in order to get the drums in order to cut through and feel like you're right there, obviously you can't have too much ambience because the more ambience you have, the more you're taking away from the initial impulse of the drums. Uh, this just bypasses that. So if you want ambient drums, but you still want the, the initial impact, this is great. You don't have to jump through any hoops. Again, this is a macro knob. We're jumping through the hoops for you because we want to get you something good. We want to get you something fast. And finally, that brings us to the maximize knob. Now, the maximize knob is a limiter. And all that does is make your drums louder. So you want to make your drums louder, you crank it up. You want to make them quieter, you turn it down. I'm going to leave that to you. Just don't wake up mom and dad. It's been a pleasure walking you through my new favorite virtual drummer. Pick it up, rock out. Don't piss off your parents or piss off your parents. I don't know, that's punk rock. You're supposed to make mom and dad angry, but you know, uh, tell them that I love them. Okay, everybody, I love you. Goodbye, have fun with Brute.